Good morning. What is going on, my friends? Welcome to another episode of Cool Cars. Uh, parked in uh, in different places. Uh, today, uh, we are at Supercar Sunday in Woodland Hills. I've uh, been here many, many times over the years. Uh, but this time, we brought in some of the cars from our museum, the Murphy Auto Museum. This 1931 Rolls Royce uh, Boatel Speedster we brought in. As well as the the Jaguar that's over there. It's kind of hitting all the people. Today is British Car Day here at Supercar Sunday. So I thought I'd uh, give you guys a tour and kind of see what's going on. What kind of British cars? Um, generally, the um, the idea is that uh, the car show isn't that filled because British car, cars don't necessarily make it to the show as easily. And they're parked on the side of the road. But there's many, many British cars here today. Uh, it's put in the county cars. Lots of other things. Dustin, uh, today is British Car Day. Um, what What's your favorite uh, ethnicity of car? You know what? If I had the money, I'd have one of everything. I love them all. I don't discriminate. I see something, I want it. The one with four wheels. You know, every car gives you different emotions. So, you know, I recently picked up a 1954 Chevy 3100 pickup truck. Got it running. It's rough, and I drove it yesterday to get bagels. And I'll tell you what, I was in it. Going slow, maybe the thing goes 50 miles an hour, yeah. cruising down the street, uh -huh. and it's noisy and rattly, but it put me in a zen like yeah. calm, it's not a fast car, it's yeah, not a hot rod. Being transported through time. And every car's magical. Yeah. Absolutely. So if I, absolutely. if I had the cash, I'd have one of everything. Yeah, well, thank you so much for putting this on. Obviously, there's a lot of people here enjoying British cars today. Uh, surprisingly, I didn't see any broken cars on the way over here. It's nice. <laughs> Well, Tim, uh, they all seem to be here. Yeah. You know, what you guys got to know hey, is hey, Tim hey. is always out there supporting events like Supercar Sunday, getting the videos out, which sometimes I'm too busy to do, so I appreciate that tremendously. Of course, you bet. You're helping get the Murphy out here. We're going to buy a couple cars. But uh, Ash, the guy right here. Where, where can people go if they have not been, if, they, if they're coming from out of town and they got, got to figure out something to do with Disneyland, Murphy, Supercar Sunday, uh, where do they go to get here? Supercarsunday.com. Easiest place, Google it. Here's calling 7 to 10 a.m. Yeah. All we ask is you come with a great attitude, have fun, and observe all rules of the road. And it's, it's truly a wonderful community. And you can take a cooking class while you're here. You can, yeah, absolutely. Right. Awesome. Thank you, man. I'll see you too. All right, let's walk around. Let's show you guys what it looks like. Uh, lots of neat stuff. MGs. Circle back to Porsche that they just kind of rolled in. Lots of neat stuff today. As a reminder, we are at Supercar Sunday in Woodland Hills. What's up? Good to see you. Where's your car? Right there. All right, we'll go check it He's out. making the Porsches look sick. Yeah, I know, always. <laughs> A lot of MGs. Can't say I've seen so many in one place. In snow. Austin Healy's. Oh, there's a TR7, huh? I don't see those that often. Ah, uh, those were the days. Mm -hmm. This needs a little bit of love. It look good. Always a great design car. You can take pictures of it. And I made that call and it's sure. That's it. No this is a 57 Morris Minor for sale. 16 grand. Anybody interested? What's up, Steve-O? Thanks for watching today. We are live from Supercar Sunday. It's British Car Day. So we're seeing a lot of Brits. Look at this. Couple of new Mini Coopers, a uh, couple of classics. Here we go. A little bit of Woody love going on. 
as far as the style of vehicles. There's always something at Supercar that uh, turns somebody's Twinkie. Oh, there's a, a Lotus. Always one of my favorites. Also, beautiful cars. That way, TR7 shared a lot of design language. Well, These make a lot of noise when they get stressed. Right now, the car is the driver. He was working with him. Amazing guys. Boy, this one's really turning out. It's not even more. You can go memory with that. I know, you get down. Come on. Watch the jump. So, yeah, he basically is driving that. It's a really small car. The brown one is going to get the V8. Right. And the white one I have is going to be a parts car for the V8. So the red one was really driving. The guy bought the red. The guy who told me about wow. the cars, yeah. he bought the red one, and he thought, "Oh, I'll sell it for twelve thousand dollars." So I go to the other day. Fifty-six. Definitely the smallest car on the show. Uh, here's one of the largest cars. I'm not sure what year this uh, Rolls is. Over here, you can really see it. Under the light, you can see it. Right, bonnet is black and the body is yellow. I'm pretty sure there's a bottle of Grey Poupon right in there. Pardon me. Jimmy! Would you have any Grey Poupon? <laughs> I'm looking for it right now, man. What's going on? Welcome to Supercar Sunday. We're having a great time. What is well, new know, with you? Uh, just hanging out. Twice my, uh, in two days. Yes, yes, yes. I uh, I got home last night and I was like, yeah, Supercar Sunday, British car day. And I go, oh, I have a Mini Cooper. I guess I'll go. <laughs> Where is it? It's at the very end. Oh, the silver? Uh, yeah, it's gray with okay. the white stripes. Right. Yep, that's All me. Right. All right. Good to see you, Fireball. See you, bit. See you later. Okay. Skyliner. Oh, you guys have seen this many times here. Supercar. Yeah, nice to see everybody out. There's some die cast. We'll check that out on the way back. Here's the only movie curve that I've spotted. The Bandit TA, this is a pretty good shape. Like it. You got a green TR7, Steve. Oh, that's cool. Great cars. Looking for some customs. There's a couple up here. That's what gets me excited. As well as uh, Mohawk Caribbean. You like this one? Do you know what this is? Oh, interesting. Wow. Okay, what's the brand name of that car, sir? 
What the what hell did that? I just see? What it is. Yeah, what is it? <laughs> Come on, you're, the you're the expert. Tell me what it is. I think that's the guy that builds all those rocket ship cars and yeah. stuff. Yeah. I think he that's him. Yeah. Because he, he builds all kinds of crazy stuff. I think he builds from the inside and never gets out of the cars. He, yeah. Pickers visited his house and drove that rocket car. Yeah. The two of them got in it and were driving all over the oh, place. Yeah. yeah. Let's go take a look. I'll see you up close. Very unusual. Did you build this? What do you got hidden in there? What do you got hidden in there? It's 350 Chevy. Okay. Okay. It is an art show. You have pieces of art like that, and then you have pieces of art like this. Yeah. It's always one of my favorites at the show. This thing is really thought out. Look at those. Right out of the theater. This thing that just went past is electric. Somebody said it has a Tesla motor in it. We'll catch up with it. Keep looking. There's a moonshine runner. That's cool. We are at Supercar Sunday. Seeing some uh, really cool cars and really big dogs. Let's go say hi to this big guy. guys that as we get closer over into that section. I don't see anything off in the distance. Uh, too exciting. A couple of Cobras. The people are still rolling in. So we'll make our way back over to, uh, to our cars that we brought in from the museum. Here's the, uh, the electric uh, 
Tesla car right there. Look at this. This looks like a 50, 51 maybe, 3100, five window. That thing's flawless. Look at that. That's a beauty. Yeah, yeah, straight down. Really nice. I built one of these for Auto Trader many moons ago. There it is. Electric Jaguar. There's, there's one up by me. Uh, you can see my Little car. brakes. Who's going to get windows to work? <laughs> now are the days where you can actually uh, take a classic and uh, build something interesting with it. So I'll show you guys the, uh, the Miata real quick. And we'll finish up. We'll go over and talk to Ernie. Or one of our new buses. <laughs> so here's what I'm driving today, this week. It's nice. Scoots around on the uh, canyons. Enjoyable. It's kind of a champagne color. I'll have more on that uh, a little bit later. What's up, George? Thanks for watching. We're at Supercar Sunday today. Not a huge show today. Definitely about uh, six, seven hundred cars so far. They have the year right here. What? How old? Here's the rolls that we brought in from uh, the Murphy Auto Museum. This is part of the Shelby collection. You guys have seen this before if you've been to the Murphy or if you've uh, just watched some of the episodes that we've done. And muscles and mojo our car show that happens every third Sunday. And of course our, uh, our Jaguar. These are beautiful. This one's been appraised at about 225, so this one uh, has got all the right components. 63. You can never sell it because Ernie loves driving it too much. Yeah, Jerry, that's true. Um, I'm expecting to see a few on the side of the road on the way back. Let's uh, let's go say hi to Ernie. He can tell us more about some of these cars. Ernie, hey, talk to me for a second. He made it. Uh, this is Ernie from our from the Murphy Auto Museum. Who hey, is how you doing? An expert in the Jag and the uh, Rolls Royce. That's right. So, uh, uh, which ones which ones more enjoyable to drive? Oh, the Jaguar. Absolutely. Yeah. I think the the Rolls you've driven thinking about 50 yards. Uh, no, the last car I drove two miles. That was more than enough. <laughs> it's a little stressful. Yeah, extremely stressful. Uh, as you're going from 50 miles an hour to 20 miles an hour and 20 to 30 miles an hour, you have to hand adjust the car braking and you have to hand adjust the points. That's real driving. Something that your car automatically does now with computers. Yeah, we're very fortunate. But in 1931, didn't do that. Mm -hmm. Now, the Rolls is part of the Shelby collection. And, uh, and this Jaguar we've had for quite some time, but I don't think we can ever sell it because you enjoy driving it. I we're not going to sell it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you, Matt. All right. Okay. Appreciate it. Okay, guys. That's what I got for you today from Supercar Sunday, and uh, it is a beautiful day today. Uh, it's been foggy in Malibu for quite some time. Well, here's a nice new roll. It just just rolled in. That's one of the rates, I think. New, old. Yeah, kind of looks the same. Uh, well, have a spectacular weekend today. You have the choice to make your day the absolute most it can be. If you want to start with a car show, if you want to start with making your spouse breakfast, or do something nice for somebody, consider that. There's a lot of things going on in the world right now that uh, don't need to be happening. And we don't have to participate in that. We can choose to be better. We can choose to do more fun things. Choose to bring coolness into our lives. Sometimes the choice is difficult. Not today. 
I'll take the keys to that. Thank you very much. But have a wonderful day today. And we'll see you guys on Art Talk tomorrow at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll talk a little bit about this show, a little bit about what's coming up on the week and some of the events that happened this month. All right, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.